Hey YouTube, this is Rich Sifu again with another flashlight review. Uh, this one we're going to go over the SSC 900 lumen LED flashlight uh, slash bike headlight. Uh, this one goes for $43 from Deal Extreme and it's made very very well I have to say. And when I was looking on YouTube there really weren't any really good you know video screenshots or night shots of this thing. There was one person had with it is mostly strobing which was really kind of useless and annoying but um, this light comes with uh, a battery pack 4400 4, milliamp battery pack it's about three to four hours one time on high and it's rated at 900 lumens it's probably pretty close maybe 700 and 7, 750 something like that out the front comes in this real nice case uh, as you can see and uh, it's got the you know magnetic latch in the front here now the lights already out of it just want to show you the case itself and you do get the light of course which I have over here and you get the head strap and the 4400 milliamp battery pack comes with the charger and a couple of o-rings this is like a heavy duty o-ring and then you have the lighter one a little bit lesser one that's uh, on here now uh, this battery pack comes just like this, exactly, I haven't done anything to it, and it has the belt loop in the back, and in order to get this out, if you had to get it out for any reason, you can buy replacement packs of this on um, on Deal Extreme. So you pull this up and then it just unvelcros. I think they're like $20, $25 or something for the replacement pack. So it's got four 18650s in there in a sealed case, sealed pack, and that just velcros and it that just goes over the top. This is all like sealed. It would have been nice if you could undo this to put it around the bike, but if you just get a Velcro loop or something and put it through here and then put it around the center pole of the bike, it's good. You could put it on your belt, stick it in a pocket, which is what I do. I bought this really to use as a, as a super bright headlamp because I already have a super bright bike light. So I didn't really need uh, anything else for that, but I really wanted a really bright headlamp because I go in some really dark forests and stuff and uh, with it, now that it's warm when those trees grow the leaves grow and it just gets totally pitch black you don't get any of the ambient light or starlight or anything and it's just an absolutely pitch black uh, drive so I wanted to have a lot of light power now my one complaint with this head the headband was when you put on the strap and this just straps in the back here and in the front down here right you just loops around it and then you string it through the through the underneath or if it's on your bike pull it around underneath the bike the handlebars and uh, clip it on top to the front clip one problem with this was when you are riding a bike especially a mountain bike or even more a 10 speed if you're still using a 10 speed um, if you know in order to get the light to really shine upwards in front of you you got to really you know crane your neck back tilt your head back a lot and it really starts to strain your neck very quickly so what I did is I took a uh, coping saw and a Dremel and I just cut away the first piece here so that this uh, tab in the back would create an opening so that would slide right in there like that just like that so now it's really really good when I put it on um, if I just look just looking normally down the road the light is shining all the way down the road and even up a little bit so it worked out really well and it didn't affect the structural integrity either of the uh, of the K of the headlamp you know the assembly it's still very strong so that's good and this is a really comfortable headlamp a head strap I have to say um, the straps are real comfortable it's got the third strap over the head so it's not going to fall on you and this is nicely cushioned here so that was a pleasant surprise I've had it on my head for a good hour and a half two hours and you know didn't have any need to take it off you know once you, you gotta stretch it out a little bit because it's a little tight but other than that now as you can see the light glows here in the back with the button for the uh, turn it on and off that glows all the time as long as you have the cord connected all right. and some people complain about it uh, it does not drain the batteries at all. I mean, maybe in a few years it would. But uh, it's just a little tiny LED. A couple of little LEDs or a string of a, a single LED in there. So, no problem. But you could just unplug it if it bothers you. Um, 
And that's pretty much it, really. There's not a whole lot I can say. It's a three-mode unit. It's got the aluminum uh, reflector there. And uh, when, in order to charge it, just have to disconnect it here. I'm doing all this with one hand, so disconnect it. See if I can get my fingers just for a second to show you this. And then it just connects. Uh, it helps if I use the battery pack, doesn't it? Um, you connect it right into the charger. And so now you have that hooked up to the charger and you just plug this in and that's it. There's two LEDs in there. Red when it's charging and green when it's fully charged. Real simple. Just unplug it and it's rated at three to four hours on high. And uh, so far, this has got several hours on the pack, and it looks to be just about as bright as when I first got it. I only got this about a week ago, so it's brand new. And uh, so far, it's fantastic. Very, very bright, incredibly powerful. You'll see out at the night shots coming up shortly. And um, I really like it. I'll show you here, briefly inside. So just connect it. And again, I, I don't use this on the bike. I just keep it attached to the headlamp. I already have two headlights my dual Cree headlight system on the bike. So this is strictly for a headlamp. So it comes on high. As you can see, it's a very uh, floody beam. Hang on a second here. It's a very floody beam, which you'll see better outside. Very, very bright though, extremely bright. Really is blasting out the light. And it's not really, you can't really tell from that, of course, but really, really nice. I uh, really like it. Has a nice white beam, so it's excellent color rendering. You can see the wood on the door there, how nicely it renders the color. And uh, it does a really good job in the flooring and everything. So a very true color rendering. And that is low. Low is nice and low. So if high is 900 lumens, you know, low is probably like 150 lumens, something like that, 120 lumens even. And uh, there's your strobe, which everyone hates, of course. So there's high, and it goes low. And strobe, and that that's your three functions. It's really good. High is very bright. Low is nice. So you can still see what you're doing. Uh, it still lights up uh, away a good 100, 150 feet or so. So bright enough to see by, and really conserve that battery power. Probably get 30 hours or 40 hours out of it on low. Maybe even more. I haven't tested tested the draw. You know, measured the draw amp, the amperage draw on it yet. But uh, real nice job. And. Uh, that's all you can say about it really. It has good cooling, the little bit of the fins that it has there. And when you're riding, it doesn't even get hot even on high. I've had it on high for a good, yeah, about 20 minutes at a shot. And uh, was uh, just uh, slightly warm. So, really well made. Should give you a really many years of service. So that's pretty much that. Let's uh, take it outside and uh, see what we can do. So here it is on high. And you can see with the getting light out but see what, how much brighter it is cell phone makes a big difference actually it's good night vision you see the beams quite powerful and it's even brighter a little bit brighter than uh, it appears in the camera and so really a nice floody beam see it's lighting up everything that's on high it easily lights up the whole yard and even the spill see the spill light there and that's the spill light that's lighting up the, uh, the deck there this is the main beam. Shine it around a little, as usual. Okay. And there it is on low. So again, hitting the deck. It is reaching the end of the fence. You can see it a little bit there. A little bit brighter than what's in the camera. Bright enough to, you know, definitely see by, especially when it's pitch, pitch black out. And there's the usual and annoying strobe. All right, let's go over here. Test it out on this side as usual. That fence is about 30 feet. Got the bush there right behind it. And it's hitting that light pole, telephone pole there, transformer. About 130, 140 feet. Top of that tree. Same thing, about 130, 140 feet. And this does have several hours in the battery. So it may be even a little brighter than this. But you can see, really, really nice. Cranking out that light. You know, there's probably maybe 650 to 800 lumens, depending. You know, they overrate these things sometimes, but 
Really, really powerful. Really, really nice. Definitely uh, worth forty-three dollars. That's for sure. And let's check out that tree. We do so without blinding, hitting the neighbors. Yeah, you can see it hitting that tree there. Okay, that's uh, two hundred and fifty feet or so in front of the neighbor's house there. See it on top of the tree. You can see with the lighter colored leaves right up there. See it? Yep. Yeah, you can see it good when I do it like that. That's what I hit in the tree there. Right. And let's walk to the other side and we'll take some shots from the other angle. Put it on low. So this is a really excellent adjunct if you need an extra light. Or if you want to use it as a main light, you can put it on the bike or as a headlamp. The versatility is quite fantastic. All right, so now down at the other end, it's going to be 80 feet to those bushes, the heavy bushes down there. And you can see, really, going leaf is in the way, really lighting up a fantastic area. You can even see the light. There's a beam in the, humi in the humidity there. Really excellent beam, wide, floody beam. And uh, easily see the hidden fence 80 feet away. Right. Zoom out. There it is in the grass that needs to be mowed. Hitting the fence on the side. And we'll walk over here. And there it is hitting that secondary tree, the lighter colored one at the top. That's in the other neighbor's yard. That's about 100, and so, 100 or so feet away. And this is with lower batteries. The batteries, uh, again, they have several hours on them. So i got to imagine it's down a little bit in brightness. But uh, it seems to hold pretty well. It seems to be a good high-quality battery pack, 4,400 milliamps. And uh, really excellent light system. I can see why people give it four and a half to five stars and a lot of praise. Now, there are several different ones, like I mentioned, with the very focused beam. There's supposed to be 1,200 lumen ones and all this different one, but you want to get one with an orange peel reflector. Because otherwise, it's like a pinpoint beam uh, from what I'm all well, that I'm reading. And this one, really, really nice. Because my the headlight on my bike system is a pinpoint beam, the uh, high beam. So uh, this works well as a, as a nice floodlight. And there it is on low. Show you the different shots up close. And again, you can see how well it works even on low. It does shine, light up a nice area. Again, once it's pitch black and your eyes adjust to the darkness, you really don't need a whole lot of light. So if you want to conserve that power, or just kind of not let everybody know if you're riding in a dark area, this is good for that. And again, there's the strobe. Find anybody with who's trying to steal your bike. <laughs> Hopefully not, and back on high. All right, so there you have it. It's the SSC 900 lumen. Bike light. Pretty darn good.